I'll, I'll try to draw the diagram. I can be asked in exam. It may appear very big. So don't, don't just uh, run into nodal analysis or, or that one. Nothing is needed. So definitely most of the questions what we ask in exam, no. <coughs> nodal analysis to that level will not be there in the exam hmm? that, that you can keep in the mind. Let's, so there is a cell, cell is cut out, no? I, I remove the cell so that will be easy for you to think on the problem. Okay, now, now check that initially the capacitor is having that charge with that initial charge. Okay, polarity of the, so this should be plus, minus. Okay, now who will supply the, who, who will make the current to flow? Or only the capacitor? It will see that a current will flow here, no? Similarly, or, or we'll, we'll take it I1. Similarly, it will push a current. Similarly, this will push a current I1. This will push a current I1. So can we, I, and this current I1, <coughs> it will branch out I1 by two. So this I1 by two and I1 by two, I1 by two, again, it will apply in KCL. So here it will be I1. I think this one, oh. Why, why, why only, only I will keep it, why that one? Okay, see, no. So similarly here also, a current I. I think now writing loop equation. So what was the initial charge in the capacitor? So this will be Q naught, we'll take it. Only on one plate, I'm able to show it. So what is Q naught? Q naught should be equal to C into EMFE. So C is how much? Five microfarad. Okay, let's keep this one here. So that potential difference will be E only altogether. So that will make the current. So we'll, we'll apply the loop equation. So pick up any one loop. So minus Q naught by C minus IR minus I by 2R plus minus IR all set equal to zero. So what is Q naught by C should be 10 I into, so this will be phi I, phi I R by two equal to zero. So what is I is equal to four by R, R is how much given 10 ohm, four by 10, 0 0.4 ampere. All are having same resistance. <coughs> so what is the current through the current through this resistor? 
will be 0 0.4, current year will be 0 0.2 ampere. Okay, once I think the rest of everything is simple mathematics. Current to the rest are in arm AO, where is the arm AO on this one? So this is how much? 0 0.4 ampere. Okay, this is the correct option. Then rate of loss of electrostatic field energy of each capacitance. What do you mean by that? Of each capacitor. Rate of loss of if turning. So shall we go for charge at any time t? <coughs> okay, we'll do one thing. We'll do one thing. Say you 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 don't don't option B you come for option C you come here. So is there any power dissipated at any time t? So what is the power dissipated? Current into that resistance. And current into okay, we will just take this loop. Any any one loop will follow it. I am asking you to just look at only one loop. No, no need entire circuit. Look at this loop here. So here, what will happen? Current is there. I square R here. I by two R square here. I square R. No, no. Look at this one. So what is the power dissipated in this this branch? I square R. I square R here, I by two whole square R. This was the total power dissipated. So there's a capacitor will come. Now, now similarly, uh, so look at this same capacitor. So this capacitor only what happened is responsible for power dissipated in these two and these two resistors and half of it. The half of the power dissipated in this resistor and this resistor is due to this capacitor. And the power dissipated in these two resistors and this one is due to this capacitor. Mm, able to analyze now? So, power is a rate of loss. Okay, this is very simple. We'll get it. So, how to get that option B is what? So, what we should do is like, <coughs> what all the decrease in energy is this? Who will, who will take that one? So, power dissipated here, I square R. I by two, I, I, I square R by two, shall we take here? I square R by two, then here I by two, all square R, I by two, all square R. Check that, it, it, you'll end up even this also. Even these things also will become valid. Uh, any other method? Or is... sir, for B option, we can do another method, no, sir. Q square by two C is heat, no. We, we can differentiate that oh, expression then, will then, get then. same thing. Yeah, that, that, that also can do it. For, for that, what will happen? See, uh, energy, energy equal to Q square by 2C. So du by dt, you do it. Half into 2 into half 2C. This will be 2Q dQ by dt. dQ by dt is what? I. Again, you should calculate this charge. VI, sir, directly. Q by C is volt. <coughs> so that, that's what potential difference at an instant of time t into I. The drop across capacity at an instant of time t. So this should be equal to uh, PC. I'll write it. So this will be Q by C into I. Uh, what is Q by C? Into VI. Fine. So calculate the drop across capacity at any time t. A, a, any of the alternative methods. Huh? What is V? Uh, current, we know it. But but he is asking, at that mark, the rate of loss of electrostatic field energy of each capacitor is, I think at t equals zero is asking. Mark, at t equals zero, mark the correct option. So we know expression for I, we know voltage, substitute that, you'll get the rate of power that hmm. 
Okay, no. I'm testing with some logical question. 